the biggest series of the Dota 2 year. It's the place where Immortals are crowned, and it is the International Grand Final. At KP on bottom lane, a little bit of trouble. GH actually able to get that first crush off. The body blocking from the trees. My control! You said... It's that game sense. We have a lane switch, middle lane, courier snipe. Mind control coming in for the kill on NCT. Miracle was already diving under the tower. Thanks to Nyx Assassin rotating towards bottom. Miracle and Kuro were not being punished for their dive. Mind control, however, might but GH in the neighborhood. They're gonna look for the double crush at GH. He'll connect a double kill for Mind Control and GH! He's trying to get in front of him, almost attempting to get just in the line of Kaka. We only have That's real players in this grand final center yeah. in bottom lane. Already Matumman going for another dive. KP has to take flight, but the open wounds will slow him down. GH is here. It's a secondary stun. That's all they want to hold him in position. KP will fall. And Team Liquid, a part of killing him top, maybe. Moody able to TP out. Mind control, they get the vision. And this was the only lane that was going decently for Nubi. Miracle at the moment. The quick rupture. Miracle still close to the T1 tower. Has There's to no try TP. and run it off. He's got a lot of life, but without a TP scroll, can't really go anywhere. Mind control wants to sprout control the hillside. Moogi, he wants to rupture onto Matalman, coming up to the tower, here comes GH, it's the same gank, over and over again, the Frostbite's nice, but then again the damage, Kaka can't turn for the stun, and the infest, he's inside the creep, popping back out, Mind Control will join the fight, Wrath of Nature damage has already been inflicted, as GH, he's got Sprint off cooldown in two seconds time, this will give him the movement speed to catch up to fate, especially when Mind Control holds him in the sprout, he's looking for the stun on Moogi, Kuro just lets the ulti go, they may, and uh, yes they do, they have enough damage to kill off Moogi, turning attention towards fate, fate, Falling for the second time this game. Out of GH. Now the Curse of Haze is online. They're going to smoke. Let's see if that's the exact move they're yeah, making. But Kaka is scouting out. He's there under the cover of Vendetta. Where's your detection? Is a sentry board available for Kuro? But at least Kaka has this information. So here comes Nubi. You can blood right. You can find the control. Is Kuro getting caught out? SCCC. He has Laguna Blade. Doesn't want to burn it for just a Lich. He wants a call, but he's not going to live long enough. But Tumbleman just arrives with so much damage. Even GH getting that follow up stun onto KP. Firefly is available. He's now going to burn it. Masu is up to the double stun from Kaka. Kaka creating space, they're looking towards Slaughter, and the clipping is about to begin. GH unwillingly left on the hill, where's the stun, where's the control? GH just TP's out under the cover of Maul, not too far away. That's the info, and I don't think. KP, five flight up, Miracle's the opportunity. Oh, he, GH GH failed! He didn't blink, he didn't get the crush, now the double stun is in there from Kaka, really catching Team Liquid on the back heels. Wrath of Nature bounces through, however, so at least they can get the leaner back, but right now, two heroes down for either side. It's Faith on the run with Boogie down. Down south away from Kuro. On my control of the turn their attention towards Kaka. Another double stun from this Nyx assassin and Team Liquid. They're going to be sad about this if they can't get more. And they're looking for it under the T1 tower. Boogie is here, ready to fight, but Matumaman stealing that life back. Ready to fight up Kaka. Invis for the moment. They'll drop the sentry ward under the towers by Carapus. Buying space for Kaka. They need more damage. Mind control dusting up Kaka with a stick charge. Still alive back under the tower. He'll survive and mind control does his TP. Nothing to cancel it. So he'll get out. Kaka's done just a little bit too far off. So really smart from Liquid. With no blood seeker, hard to take the fight. In fact, Team Liquid now turn their attention towards Roshan. This is a very obvious move, however, considering they're doing it. Underneath that Radiant Observer one, quick sentries down, so Nubi will get rid of that high ground vision the Team Liquid have around the pit. Oh. So they go for more defensive ward. Roshan's down to 2k. KP, he does have the Firefly. Blink is up in one second time. One second will be perfect. But then again, the initiation's already happened. Faith letting it go, but Tom is standing right in front, taking it at the same time. You've got SCC, a perfect stun. Troll wall out, Kaka wants his TP, these Ancients are not his friends, that Lich ult, he just would not stop the bounce, 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 SDC, he's on the run now, from two heroes, about to become three, but the third doesn't even arrive in time, ever comes into play, Smoke, oh, Nyx Assassin, again, great vision up from him, he'll come underneath the Dire Sentry Ward, and they'll see Kuro oh, the the he misses the Forest Strike, and now they jump in, hitting very hard, Slada so low, he will fall the lasso, they're pushing the Troll Wall on, up on the cliff, KP successful with that, while the rupture on the back lines, Mike Control BKB won't protect it from this. Moogie, he's got the damage output, but not when getting Frost Blast down on 98 HP. Matoma needs to hit, able to do so. Three heroes lost. We can come back live as Team Liquid pushing into the bottom lane. Troll Wall Lord, the dust is up. They have the vision. Laguna Blade's available. They're saving it. They don't need it to get this kill on the Troll Wall Lord. And now it's Team Liquid on the run. GH is arriving, and so is Nature's Prophet. In fast up, they're going in once more. Blink looking for the crush. The Frostbite, perfect timing from Faith, creating space.
is still the Troll Warlord down. The Courier is the only thing for the Radiant side to die until Faith then follows it into the grave. Life Stealer, they gotta keep that detection up. Sentry Ward is down. The Glimmer Cape of Korra really causing problems for Nubi to commit in these, these detection items. But Matumaman, oh no, the Lincoln Sphere! He had it up, KP blinked in, he was looking for the Lasso. The Lasso is the thing to trigger the Lincoln Sphere, and now it's four heroes down. I don't know if Nubi can really repel this. They may even lose SCCC. Mind Control BKB is protecting itself from the Life Strike Array, and now he'll die. The denial from the Bloodstone. They were the ones to get the initial kill. And now Liquid. they're losing two lanes of racks. Liquid showing a quick game one. Unless Newbie pull off some absolutely miraculous smoke play. And nope. GG. They don't. They know it's over. You've lost two lanes of racks. Liquid showed the lower bracket matchup. And they would hold their advantage. They would keep the split push going and bleed Newbie dry. One what? thing Newbie changed this game is that they have a lot of lane pressure. Oh, oh. oh. All right. But he's got a creep wave coming. He wants to wait for it. He wants to do the damage to Miracle. If he's spending mana in this lane, he wants it to go into that alchemist. Kaka, oh, they're body blocking Koro. Moogie blinked in front of him, so the blink actually works to get close towards Koro. Now he has level two, so mana breaks available. Koro's on the run, wants to try and juke in the fog of four. It won't be successful. Newbie, first blood. Feel the alchemist is having a good start in the, in the mid lane, and Bottom. apart from Koro's death, they're just fine. Matumba, Faith wants to block him. You got the Frost Blast off cooldown right now. Matumba can't make its way back through the tree line. KP, he actually blocked it perfectly. And Newbie, they get another kill. Kaka, told you it's looking for the courier for a second. He'll go to the fire strike. SCCC! He was moving off the mid lane. It's a great lane no matter what. You'll send in another shaker oh, in here. Would, okay, yeah, he's going to beat into Faith. Kaka wants to help him out, but here comes Moogie. Burn him off. They deny Not him denied. up as well. My control can't even find that kill with all of his friendly plague wards around him. They cannot save his life. Right? I forgot it's a Necro in mid. <laughs> Coach oh. Shroud, 17 sticks. Oh, oh. but still! And C didn't Who forget cares, anything! Man? He did the math he was looking at. Oh. Newbie's coming in force. Miracle's gonna keep his farm going. The Observer Ward is there. Might give a little bit of extra confidence now. SCCC, he actually has his smoke broken by Matumbaman as they go over the Observer Ward. This may be the best thing Liquid could have seen. Microtrol starting his TP. Kuro will be the sacrificial lamb and GH as well. The Fissure creating a little bit of extra space. Starts his TP, but KP has the tool available. Kaka, Forest Strike brings the damage up, allowing KP to get the win. Oh, it might be some uh, reliable versus unreliable gold thing. Ha, <laughs> never mind. 120 reliable gold in the out. Yeah, this guy's been nowhere. Scythe up on top. GH is damage. It isn't enough Big kill. to get the Scythe kill on the anti maid. Reaper Scythe is available. Ice Blast is on the way. They just have to hold him there. Fissure to make sure of that KP press the attack. The Scythe is down. Not getting the perfect chaining of stuns, but the damage output will allow them to shatter KP on the top. You've got Blink Dagger and Echo Slam also available. Kaka, is it going to be him once again? Blink in from GH. They'll keep the chain stun going, actually committing the Echo Slam, and they'll Scythe him down. 30 seconds on the sideline for the SK, while KP hiding in the trees. Vortex trying to give vision, he'll blink further up into the trees. Venno are great late game heroes in their own right. Now, oh, that's a ball. dead Venno. The duel on to him, Sonic Wave kicks, it kicks down to Koro. The Lich Chain Frost bar, bouncing down towards Matumba, but the epicenter from Kaka not really close enough, and Matumba actually gets a TP out. They look for a different target, and it's GH on the other side of the trees. They see a lot, and Kaka can't blink in. He cannot do that disengage, so he has to jump inside the Sandstorm. Blink will come off cooldown, Roshan's pretty low, there's your jump forward. It goes on the GH's Earthshaker. You can see more already hands of Miracle and Liquid. Now they have everything they need to win this fight. The Ice Blast is onto the SK. Even the side three heroes from Nubi are falling down. GH gets the Echo Slam off. But Nubi, now it's time to fight with their cause, or is it? Moogie backs out towards the Trine. SCCC can't kill off Koro. That one tree blocking the vision for him. He'll blink up and away. He's looking at Assault Curious next, and he may even be looking at the Tier 3 Tower next. They're coming in now. Moogie, he has a TP ready. Parker ready to TP back as well. Blink King finds the fire strike. Looking at the Alchemist, man to dodge was attempted. But while that Agassi Mortal is on the Alchemist, Miracle will stand just chipping away at the tier 3 tower. Oh, Blink in, no! Blink and Spear actually triggered off the back of the duel. The Scythe is the return punishment for KP's misdemeanor. Oh, he didn't see that Matoma Man has the Lincolns. That's such a big mistake. 
no buyback one. And this is going to be Rax Toby. They can't kill this this alchemist twice with these heroes now. Yeah, they need that just looking at it. Mail. Kaka needs to bring in the epicenter. They need the damage. Here comes the epicenter from Kaka away from the wards. He's able to get the fire strike in. Necro low. The Sonic Wave will kill him off. Where is this damage? However, the Echo Slam from GH. Car hopping, holding down the end image. Moogie's in trouble. The blink up with the play. Gorge with there. Koro is the man that shatters him out. But that Ice Blast connects, is just too much damage being done. You still have the oh, Aegis Deep himself there. As now, well, Miracle cancelled himself, but GH, oh, the silence! SCCC controls him perfectly. Now the Aegis Sea Mortal, it's gonna burn. Can they hold him there? Miracle back into the Chemical Rage. Manta is up, beating into the range ranks. Turns attention over towards Moogie. He's already Radiance burning down the rest of the newbie heroes. All he has to do is stand there and he's winning the game. Bringing down the Creep Wave now into the melee racks. Frost Armor is making this difficult, but not impossible. Team Liquid, where's that Burrow Strike? Coming in from Kaka, SCCC is back. He has that Orchid available. He waited for the mana start, but the damage is done. Miracle claims the melee racks. They need something in return. The Lincoln Sphere triggers once again. Is Moogie moving forward? KP has the duel available, looking for the target. Miracle is low. Can he get the duel up? Look for a different target. Mind Control over the side, and they will find this pickup. SC and Moogie together. KP still wants the bloody duel. But what can he get? Mind Control, there's your duel. Victory comes in. The Scythe doesn't do enough. <laughs> Tumberman looking for another opening. He just walks around inside the shroud. They'll all blink away. Newbie, this has been a very expensive defense, and they still lost their bottom lane of Rax. And here we go again. So Liquid are not hesitating at all to put the pressure on. This Actually, time there won't be the Aegis Sea Mortal, but he does have an Assault Curious, Blink, Fire Strike, and KP. The duel is out, the Jolly gonna bounce around, Mind Control breaks it down, but it comes back up again, the side! KP can't survive, he'll lose the duel, Miracle will come in with a plus 14 damage, looking to try and end this, it's Batonic with a double kill, and Miracle remembers objective-based gaming. Buyback is there from SCCC, but losing two cores already, one of them forced to buy back on Newbie, is already a huge victory for Team Liquid, but they're not done yet. They're gonna wait for Chemical Rage and push for the high ground again, knowing that key cooldowns are now not available. There's no Chain Frost, no Blink Duel. And Look he's just gonna go in again. He's gonna try and run the back lines. Blink Bar is strike, holding Miracle into position. Venomans are almost down the mana void. Moogie couldn't get it off now. The extra from GH will control him. And this will be a huge kill if they can claim it. Andy Mage is falling. Andy Mage is down for two minutes. They've lost the numbers. There isn't enough defense here from Newbie without the enemy, without their big core. They just don't have the damage, and GG, 34 minutes, Team Liquid, more than dominating, ripping apart Newbie at the seams in game two. It's been so beautiful to watch how Liquid were one game away from elimination and have just slowly discovered what their strengths are as a team. I think. All right, Death Prophet. Death Prophet. Death Prophet. Death Prophet for Newbie. And now GH is like, okay, not really happening in mid. I'm gonna move towards oh, top. Kaka. Maybe there's an opportunity here. Good fissure with the frostbite and the last attack from Kuro. You know, it's it's still a farm Venom for sure, but Mike top lane, definitely getting his miracle. Where's that follow up? Have they got the stun? They do. So there's no spin available with Spirit Siphon. Miracle just has to tank the physical damage, which he cannot do. Great. He's got his own observer ward down as well. So Faithful hex him quickly. Shackles not available. In fact, he used the Ether Shock. So the mana isn't available, in fact, now with Moogie moving over, they have enough to slow through the Plague Ward. Gale's gonna connect on his target, and SCCC. They put the Plague Ward up on the hill, realize no one else is there from Team Liquid. Yeah. The next on the menu for him. It may be, Miracle. KP's death, oh, right KP. in, dodging that whole stomp from KP. Kaka, he doesn't have the mana for a Barra Strike, and there was... Kaka just wants to push the wave out and get a ward out. Sitting on two wards on the same team, can't really use There's the same key, though, and That's this will be the won. kill. The Shackles hold him there. That's a huge kill. Miracle to fall. H is looking to defend. But Kaka, there's your Mass Surf. Morse Fisher to go out. Barra Strike going to connect on that mid lane. Exorcism is out too. GH, low on life, doesn't want to come closer, but it's Necrophos who shackled up, taking a lot of damage from that Exorcism Faith. No, he's going to die. The oh, catapult bouncing off the chain frost. The Dark Sea back wall. Able to make a little bit more problems. Fisher is out. So Kaka being broken out of his Sandstorm and the Invis. SCCC wants to bring the damage in close, but with three heroes already rotated over from Team Liquid. Faith's just going to get close enough to get the Hex. Thanks to the Observed Wall they have behind. They see everything. Stampeding forward. Exorcism is down. It's a lot of damage. KP has taken. 
but they'll still get the kill onto Matumbo, but SCC wants more. Koro TP'd in to try and help out, but now he's trapped. Kaka, no bar strike for another two seconds, but the Exorcism will do the work, and Koro, Kaka even commits it to ensure it. Well, they'll let the Mass Open Wars die, or maybe not. Miracle's coming in from the south. Bar strike up, Kaka actually dodging the vac, but he cannot dodge the spin of Miracle. He's also Iron Shell buffed up, double TP's out, SCCC, his TP's coming off cooldown in a second, he had to move one of his Null Talismans out of his backpack, yes. and now starts it, but G8, Echo slams it down, the silence it needed to connect on the Earthshaker. Yep. And I think Liquid are doing a good job in this Miracle game. in his vision of this. He's starting his spin. He won't have time. He can't TP out now. The Stampede, they're trying to close the distance so the Hex from Faith can come out. The Plague Ward going to block the retreat off the Juggernaut. He doesn't know it. That's why the movement path sent him back towards the south. KP comes in to lend the extra stun. And Juggernaut will fall on the top lane. They are coming. But do they get here quick enough? The Plague Wars are down. Kaka staying outside the pit. They know that new that Liquid will have to come from the south. The Hex is out already. Miracle spinning inside the pit. Roshar's down low. The back wall is nice. The Massa pulls it down too, but the anchor is left! into Moogie on the retreat, the Barra Strike not hitting the money, Kaka has to retreat back out again, the Plague Wars making it difficult for Liquid just to get out of this got free, but now the Fuse Blade out from Miracle, catching up Moogie, ending the dominating streak, and the big advantage that Newbie had. Miracle with the Aegis Immortal does the first bit of damage to the Newbie base, feeding into the Tier 3 tower. KP is watching him, and they're looking, they get the Hex over on GH, but his Faith just gets caught out, trying to look for his own Hex, Quick Man to style out, KP looking for the hot stop, and GH is Fissure, Ryan the money, Kaka coming in, looking for any kind of stuns that make it so Liquid have overcommitted. Rod of Vatos onto the Necrophos, you've lost your Shadow of Shama, but Venomanza back to the World of Living, Nova's available too, Miracle, you can bleed him, out, but remember, he's still got the secondary life. The Boris strike, they're just trying to chip away at him. That tier three tower, it's going, it's going, it's gone. Miracle will grab it. The spin, he wants to back out now with no magic community. It's too risky to stick around. He has another 40 seconds on the Aegis, so he's just going to run in and start hitting. The perfect timing, but watch that Aegis see mortal. If we hit 30, 30, 33, 30, you'll know the Aegis will be timing out pretty shortly, but Miracle making the most of that 30 seconds, feeding into the tower, KP with the Hoof Stomp. They have an extra silence, Juggernaut can't do damage, the fortification's doing its work, not to mention the Spirit side, but Kaka, Forest Strike, can they wait that a little bit longer? Put another 20 seconds so that Aegis is properly gone, but Team Liquid, once again, they go up, they take the tower, and they're looking to come back in once more. Watch that Aegis of the Immortal. They jump in, the horse on from KP, catching two. Aegis still there for the back. Epicenter is doing its work. The Juggernaut, he's dying. The Aegis Immortal in time down a fraction of a second before. Miracle's gone. The cycle get a revenge. KP will fall. Kuro tries to end the trees, but the exorcism from SCC, they're having the damage output to do it. Three heroes gone from Team Liquid. Uh, but it was it was simply this mid wave that they wanted to take care of. Now that that's done, they're starting to get back into the SCCC, Yule stepped up. They'll drop it back down again. Ah, the Yule snap the hit. Kaka connects on his stun. Follow from KP, but Mind Control drags them back in unwillingly into the fight. KP, he's got no way out. No stampede available. Two heroes lost from Nubi Liquid. Has that BKB to react to talking what's all about Miracle, the bar strike from Kaka, it'll connect, follow up Fisher, but KP, he'll get the sun off the mass of course, in the middle of the field, does here, coded up, Miracle, the anchor is left there from GH on the only side, and damage out for Turbin, with the side, SCC is gone for two minutes, the Liz Chambers, bouncing back down Kaka, trying to hide himself, but right now it's all liquid, 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 they have taken down four, he'll get the buyback from the Venom, and the GH to the fall stop, he won't even die for this, liquid lose nothing, from Mubi into the melee racks on mid. Still no death prop for 40 seconds. Liquid doing severe damage to the newbie home. They'll rotate towards the bottom. The tier three towers, that was the prep work for Liquid. Now they follow through. A nice bar of strike onto two. They need more plague wars, they need more defense, but Miracle doesn't give two hoots. Just keeps beating through the buildings. Fortifications there to protect the range racks and buy time for Death Prophet to come back alive again. When she's up, she still won't have exorcism. It'll be on cooldown for another 38 seconds. Miracle a quick push back, that's the Hurricane Pike going to work. Matumberman sticking with it. 
Team Liquid, they're gonna make the play for Megas. Death Prophet, five seconds until she's up. The Hawks on, plus the Gale into the Necro. Mass left was, they've got really good range with that Agnum's upgrade, so they can defend inside the base. Liquid can also wait this out. The Shackles, it holds Miracle. They just keep chaining him across the universe. Which that any big kill they see everything. Here comes the Echo Slam. Is it going to be enough or not yet? The Fissure is out. Necro Control. It's a nice oldie from Moogie. Maybe the regeneration is enough. Miracle. The Agassi model will pop Faith. Able to shackle him forever. Holding him. Up they come once more. No Hex. No Vincent Sun and Babel. Only Slash on top of Moogie. The Shrines are doing enough. But it is all for Miracle Joe. Double kill for him. Diffuser by NCCC. Lost Entor. Control of the back lines. The Exorcism. It needs to do some damage. But right now, Moogie dropping like flies. And GG. They have been absolutely fantastic over the last few days. Liquid, they were they were so close to elimination like two or three times in a row. And every single time they overcame it. And today they just looked like just flat out the best team in the world. This series, it's not only a 3-0, there was pretty convincing wins for the most part. Just a clearly better team. Big congratulations. You thought the run could have been over. They were knocked down in the quarterfinals by Invictus Gaming. They did the hard road all the way through the lower bracket. They fought all the way up into the grand final, taking out in the lower bracket final LFY at the start of today. A team which everyone thought their play in the group stage was beyond contest. They kept fighting, then up against Nubi. A 3 0 victory. Style from all round. Team Liquid. We thought they could claim the Aegis of the champions. And they're about to do exactly that. Your champions of the International 2017 is Team Liquid. Liquid are no longer doing it. Liquid have done it. Your 2017 international champions are Team Liquid. Garoki, I'm gonna find you. Congratulations. Garoki, every TI, every international, seven of them. This one is yours. How does it feel? Uh, feels good. I'm planning to come here again next year and stay here again. Defend your title. Yeah. I know it's a lot to process. I'm going to let you do just that. Matu, how heavy is that Aegis? Uh, yeah, you know, it, feel, it actually feels pretty good. I, I'm, a, I'm totally suspicious. Uh, uh, wow. wow. Hey, GH. It wasn't that long ago you were running around on pub servers. Your first TI, and you lift the trophy. Make it up for GH. How does it feel, dude? How does it feel? You are a TI champion. You are one of the best five players to play Dota 2 at this moment. Well, let me tell you something. The feeling is surreal. I just couldn't... Uh... Accept it at first. I still can't. Uh, I can't accept it right now. <laughs> I need some time. Why don't we remind them, guys? <laughs> Team Liquid, 2017 international champions.
You guys are gonna go and party. You have got the best night ahead of you. You've had the best day. Um, I'll let the audience say the rest. It's never been done before. 3-0. 3-0 grand finals. Team Liquid, your champions. One more time, raise the roof of the key arena. Team Liquid.